Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm so excited because we are talking about the best lip products for fall. And if you know me, you know how much I love fall and this is the first fall related thing I'm putting up on my channel for this year and I'm very excited. I've done a video similar to this one before, like my best lipsticks for fall or something. I'll have that video linked down below because in today's video, of course, I wanted to mention more of my favorite lippies for fall, but I wanted to do a completely different set of lip products. I didn't want to talk about the same ones that I had mentioned before. I didn't want to be too repetitive. So if you want even more recommendations, make sure to check that video out as well. But today we're going to be talking about lip glosses, lipsticks, basically anything lip that's going to look good for fall I have with me today. We're going to be going all in. So I'm very excited to talk about these products, so let's go ahead and get into it. First up, we have a lipstick in true form. It's just one of those bullet lipsticks. This is the ColourPop Blur Luxe Lipstick. Here's what the outer packaging looks like. This retails for $7.50, and I have mine in the shade Lucky Strike, and that is the one I'm going to be recommending to you today. This is kind of a mauve pink shade, as you can see. That's what the actual shade looks like. It's really just one of those perfect mauve pinks for fall that you guys know I love so much. I actually was wearing this in my last video, or when you're seeing this, it may be like a few videos ago, but that was my video, um, my first Sephora order, so if you want to see what this looks like, like on, then I will have that video linked down below, and let me show you what a swatch of this looks like. You can see it is pretty matte, so with matte lipsticks, there comes that territory of they're going to be somewhat drying, but I find that this lipstick is a lot less drying than the other matte formulas I've tried out, so, you know, it's a little bit drying, but if I top it with a gloss, it's gonna feel pretty normal and comfortable on the lips. This product does have grapeseed extract and I think it has a couple other fruit extracts that help it to be very nourishing to the lips which during the winter and during the fall you're gonna need products that are going to be just super nourishing to the lips and especially if you're like me and have really dry lips I want something that's constantly gonna be you know moisturizing them and making them feel more comfortable and this is also a vegan and cruelty free product so if that is um you know something that concerns you I will mention that throughout the video and let you know which products are cruelty free and and vegan friendly. Next up we have a lip gloss. This is the Joseph Colors lip gloss in the shade On Repeat. This is what it looks like. This is $17 I believe. Yes, $17. And this shade is just a really warm kind of mid-tone nude. So let me swatch it for you guys. This one is probably going to be the warmest of all the shades that I'm referring to. It has a little bit of pink but very very little. So if you're like a true nude girl this will be great for you. Here is what it looks like. It's very like pigmented. It's pretty opaque for a lip gloss, which I really like. It's not gonna be sticky. It's really, really comfortable. And the scent is amazing. It's like this really nice vanilla y scent. It feels so good on the lips, just like a like a lip oil or just something very comfortable, but it's not gonna get everywhere like a lip oil would. And if you are wondering, this product is cruelty free and it's vegan. It just looks great. You can wear it alone, you could top it over a a lipstick or something like that. I find myself topping it over a lipstick just because this is a very warm toned lip product. So if you're not used to something really warm toned, then you may want to combine it with something else. So whenever I think of like a fall lipstick, this next product, the shade that I have it in is exactly what I think of when it comes to fall lipsticks. This is the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Bound. Here's what it looks like. This retails for $26. And here's a swatch of it on my hand. This is Bound right here. It's kind of a cool toned, dark mauve shade. It's really pretty. And it's going to have, like this product is going to have that really long wearing effect. Kind of like a liquid lipstick. Like this is what I compare it to. But it doesn't have a completely matte finish. Like it's like a semi matte. So if you can see, it's got a little bit of sheen to it. So it's going to look a little bit more natural, have a little bit more life to the lips. Because I know personally, I love, you know, long wearing effects that a liquid lipstick gives. But that matte look just isn't for me. Like it's just not. And I typically try and you know fix that by using a gloss but with this one I really don't have to I will say this is not like the most comfortable thing in the world it's definitely more comfortable and less drying than like a liquid lipstick net would be but this is still not gonna be you know like your typical lip gloss like it's not gonna feel super comfortable like that but it's not gonna be sticky it's gonna wear a long time and I find if I do top it with a gloss it definitely does help it be more comfortable so if that's a concern to you that's something you can do to help you know combat this dry matte feeling but it's really not too bad but I did definitely want to make note of that and one other thing is that NARS is not cruelty free and not vegan so if that's something that you know you're considering as you're buying these products this may be one that you want to skip over so next up we have the product that is on my lips right now I've really been loving it I mean the fact that I'm wearing it right now really does say something it is the nude sticks lip plus Something glaze and this is in the shade Nudo 2. It retails for $28. They have a couple different shades. Here's what a swatch of it looks like on my hand. 
um it's kind of a cool tone pinkish mocha shade it's really pretty it's definitely going to be more pink than any of the other products i'm talking about so if you want something a little bit girlier but still going to be in like that fall realm this is definitely what i go for if you like kind of the aspect like the idea of this product but you're not loving this pinkier shade they do have other shades so i would definitely check those out if you're not necessarily a pink girl one thing i'll say is you know, if you're worried about this product due to the plumping effect or whatever, it's really not too bad. I do don't, I don't mind plumping products. So I may be a little bit biased when I say that, but the tingle really isn't bad. It's just very slight. And it also, you know, it does have a peppermint sensation, which I really do enjoy. I love the smell of peppermint and I do like the tingle that that gives. But if that's something that, you know, is going to affect your purchase, then I would definitely go in store and, you know, try it out first so that you can know if you like that feeling or not and then this product is not only going to be animal friendly but it's also going to be environmentally friendly it has recyclable packaging and it doesn't have any of those really bad ingredients the parabens the phthalates the sulfates very little lip products do but i do like that they mentioned that just so you know for sure and it's just a very comfortable lip product it's very moisturizing it claims to be a lip oil i'm not really sure i mean i'm sure it is a lip oil but it doesn't really feel like one it's slightly tacky but it's not sticky like it's really Comfortable. It doesn't get everywhere like a typical lip oil would and along with this like I mentioned It doesn't have any of the bad, you know ingredients But it also has really good ingredients to help with that moisturization Which I definitely need in the fall and winter months it you know has that due to the many butters that it has it has like shea butter it has avocado butter it has maru maru butter you guys know i can never pronounce that word but it has maru maru butter and then it also has ingredients that are going to help support like the natural production of collagen in your lips and that are going to help you know produce hyaluronic peptides which are not only going to help your lips you know be a little bit plumper they're going to help them look a little bit fuller and smoother and just really help with like the overall smooth look of the lips, which I really do like. I love all the effects that this product gives, and I like how they're able to back it up with true ingredients. A lot of times products will just kind of throw things out there, and these, it's a good product. I mean, I could talk about it for a long time, but it's really good. The next lip product is one I've talked about a good bit on my channel, but I wanted to mention it again because I do think, you know, it's a great year-round product, but this shade in particular is a very beautiful, like, fall shade in my opinion. Uh, great for every day. It is the Sephora Melting Lip Click. This is in the shade Caramel, and it retails for $14. One thing I'm going to note is there is very little product in this. Like the actual amount that you're getting is very little. So when you think about like $14, that can, depending on, you know, what you think is affordable, it could seem affordable, but there's very little product in there. And if you really do enjoy it, you are going to go through it pretty quick. But this is what kind of a swatch of it looks like. You can see it's very, very natural and subtle. This shade Caramel for me is like a perfect My Lips But Better nudie everyday shade. Like I've just really been enjoying it. I feel like it gives like a slight enhancement to my lips. Nothing too major or too crazy and one thing that I one way that I always describe this product is it feels like a bomb and it has that tint that would come from like a lipstick but it also has like a real glossy effect like it's like my favorite aspects from each different type of lip product which just makes the perfect combination and not to mention you know I have very dry lips and especially in the winter they get super super dry so this is really nice because it has castor seed oil which is an ingredient I love it's really great for nourishing and moisturizing so definitely recommend checking this out if you have not already all right guys that about wraps up today's video if you enjoyed it please be sure to leave it a big thumbs up so I know to continue doing videos similar to this one let me know in the comment section down below what lip products you have been loving. I love hearing from you guys and chatting with you in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of the love and support that you guys give. It really means a lot to me and I hope that you know that. If you're new here, you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do that by clicking that little red button down below and the notification bell so you are notified for all of my future posts and videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you guys have a great couple of days until I post my next one and I will see you then. Bye!